I remember the day that it happened. The lights in the sky, the sirens, the moment everything changed. One day you're at the top of the world getting a lap dance from a cartoon stripper. The next, you're eating ashes out of the rib cage of your best friend's burned out corpse. Just to stay alive. Every day now is a struggle. And it all changed in that one instant. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Uh, there is a clear enjoyment in our culture about the idea of things happening quickly. Uh, things happen overnight. Um, on Wednesday everything was fine, but on Thursday the shit had hit the fan. Um, and I'm not sure exactly why that is. Uh, I know that I come from a film background. I'm a cinematographer, but I've also written screenplays. And there's a rule of thumb when you're writing a story. Like, let's say you're adapting something from a book. If, if you're adapting from a book and the events in the book happen over a year, try to compress it into a week, <laughs> if you can. If, if you're adapting a book and everything happens within a week, try to squeeze that all into a day. And uh, there's something pleasing to audiences when that happens. It's just things are, are moving faster. Um, again, I'm not going to speculate as to why that is, but I think we can all accept that there is that. That people like the idea of things happening quickly. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Ah, it's my ancestor, Praximus, from ancient Rome. Oh, I gotta take this. I'm sorry. It's a video call. I'll, I'll, I'll put you through. Hello? Oh, hey, I'm so glad I caught you. I, I'm sorry. I know I'm always f***ing calling you about that but this time it's f***ing real. Oh, uh, where do I start? Uh, well, first, uh, Diocletian, he f***ing split the whole empire in two. He's our emperor, as you know. So, he splits the f***ing empire in two. Uh, and then, just poof, out of the air. Yeah, uh, he comes up with two new emperors, so then we got four emperors, then Diocletian and Maximian, the other, you know, one of the other fucking four emperors, they step down, they're out of here, and then we're in the fucking civil war, and that's what, that's what leads us right now, dude. Oh, man, we are fucked. All right, uh, well, I'm seeing it's, it's 300 AD where you are right now. Um, you've got at least another century and a half. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to worry about. It'll... These things will pass, okay? Okay, I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video right now, okay? Okay. Yeah, I love you too. All right, bye-bye. All right. Um, yeah, that's my great-great-great-great-great-uncle. He lived in ancient Rome, and I uh, gave him a time-traveling video phone a while back. Kind of regretting that now, um, lately. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, in, in regards to... Uh, you might be curious, he, he speaks English, um, uh, it, it, it's his second language, um, and uh, in regards to him having a South Boston working class accent, um, everyone in Rome had a Boston accent back then. I don't, what would they have had, a British accent? What are you expecting? I don't know. Um, but where was I? Um, yeah, so I think people are, are waiting for this sort of terminating line, this event to happen where Everything's fine, and then on the other side of this line, you know, the, the shit has hit the fan. Um, and a lot of times, it doesn't work like that in, in the real world. In fact, it usually doesn't. Now, now, there's occasionally things like Hurricane Katrina, or... I'm sorry, hold on, hold on. Come again. Okay. Yes? Hey, bro. Oh, sorry. You know, I... I yeah, the, the Civil War thing, yeah, it didn't pan out. Didn't, you know, I guess it wasn't, it wasn't so bad after all. But now, oh, we're fucked now, dude. Oh, we are. Uh, there's this this fucker from from the east, uh, Constantine, and he's he just rolled into the west like he fucking owns a place, and now he is just taking over, and it is it is we are done. And you know, he's not even a polytheist. I, you know, he, he's got this messed up Middle Eastern religion or something. Was it? Christianity? I don't know, some new f***ing thing. And, uh, oh, oh it's, it's f***ed up. He's taken over, now we all gonna be Christians now. And, you know, to be honest, I don't even think the dude's a f***ing Roman citizen. I, I, I've yet to see a birth certificate. Um, I, I, I don't worry about the Constantine thing. Um, yeah, I'd actually, 
it actually goes pretty well for you guys. Uh, Christianity sort of binds the empire together for a while. It gives you guys a good another century there. Okay? Yeah, you're gonna be good. All right? Okay. I got. I'm still doing that video. Okay? Gotta go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love you too. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Uh, yeah. So. Um, yeah, people are waiting for this this event to happen. And, and there are things like Hurricane Katrina, like I was just about to say, uh, where something happens and um, and it does catalyze something. So there are there are exceptions to that. But largely uh, in uh, in history, it's a slow degradation process. Um, where well, the example of uh, of Rome, uh, their their coinage slowly went down over time in terms of uh, its buying power. The, I think it was the denarius. Uh, it started reasonably high, and then they kept cutting it and cutting it and cutting it as you're overextending. Oh, okay, hold on. Again. Okay, yes, what is it? Hey, bro. Uh, yeah, sorry to bother you again. Uh, I just wanted to hit you up, just let you know what's going on. Yeah, the con the Constantine thing wasn't so bad, uh, after all, in, in retrospect. Uh, and and even even after that, the, the, the those barbarians, the, uh, the Visigoths, came in and they, they, they sacked Rome. That motherfucker Alaric fucking sacked Rome, dude. It happened. I was there. I saw it. These two fucking eyes, I saw it. Uh, but, you know, even that, you know, it wasn't so bad, you know, for the average Julius. Uh, but now, oh, we have toast now, dude. You, I got to tell you what's going on. The Vandals, those other fucking barbarians, they just took North Africa. They took North Africa. That's where we get our food from, dude. That's our fucking bread basket. We're gonna fucking starve, dude. We are toast. Oh, we are fucked. Dude. Yeah, I know the food thing is kind of scary. I get that. Uh, I hear you. But I'm seeing it's you're still in the beginning half of the the fifth century. So, yeah, you guys are you're good for decades. Yeah, you got some time left. Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Just hang in there. All right. All right. Okay. Love you too. All right. Bye bye. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. So. Yeah, well, the example of Rome, like I was saying, uh, it, it took decades and decades and decades, uh, you know, several hundred years, really, uh, from the height to really where it came down to. And like I was saying, the denarius, you could see that the denarius, that was their coin, slowly got devalued over time, where you could buy quite a bit at the height of the empire, and then by the time they'd uh, taken all the silver out of it, it was devalued and you couldn't really get much with it. Um, that's that's a an inflationary uh, sort of scenario, uh, and we have that uh, today uh, in, in our culture with the, with the dollar uh, having been devalued over time. Where you used to be able to buy quite a bit with your dollar, and now over time uh, there's less and less and less. Um, but that's a slow. Oh, fuck. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh, hey, bro. Oh, I just need to touch base with you. I just oh, I need you to reel me the fuck in. Oh, I'm going nuts here. Oh, uh, well, last time I, yeah, I was talking about the vandals. They, uh, they took off uh, food from the, in North Africa. Well, uh, well, they're here now. They're fucking here. Uh, and, and their leader, Oridasa, he's like, now I'm in charge. So, fuck. It feels like it's, this has got to be the fucking end, dude. But I, you know what? I want you to just, just reel me in. You know, talk me down, dude. I'm going crazy here. Yeah, I'm seeing the date now is 476 A.D. Um, so yeah, that uh, I would I would trust your instincts on this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for you guys. Uh, but if you head east to the Eastern Roman Empire, um, yeah, they they go on for they go on for a while. So, you know, head east, young man. Yes, yeah, just uh, just be careful, okay, and stay off the main roads. All right, okay. Love you too. Good luck. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, most of the time, there's a slow degradation, and that happens in our currency. Uh, it can happen in uh, our infrastructure um, uh, and just the, the fabric that holds our society together. Um, and what I would question, uh, and, and it relates to the title of my video, is are we already in a dark age now? Has, has the collapse already begun? Um, for people that were living uh, a little bit after my, my uncle there, uh, who lived through the Dark Ages, it's not like they went outside every morning and were like, ah, it's so dark out here. It's such a dark age. Today is just such a dark age. You know, it, it wasn't like that because that was what they were born into. And it happened so slowly 
that you just gotta get used to it. And I would compare that to a lot of what we see around us right now. Um, for, for example, uh, going fishing. Uh, you know, our, our, grandfa our grandparents, or great-grandparents, they had that free resource. You could go fishing all the time, and people still go fishing. Um, but you, today, we can't pull, out, pull most of the fishes out of the lakes and streams in the United States without them having pollutants in them. So that's kind of some, something that we've lost over time that now we're just kind of like, well, that's the way it is. You know, Don't eat the fish out of that lake. But that didn't used to be the way that it was, but we've gotten used to it. And it's been this slow process to get here. Now, if we went back in time and then, you know, plucked someone out and brought them to today, they'd be like, holy crap, everything costs through the roof. You can't go fishing. You can't breathe the air. You can't do this. You can't do that. You know, look how much you guys have lost. But for us here, it's happened so slowly over generations, you know, you don't really feel it. And that's why I question, will people in the future look back to the time right now and be like, oh, oh, those poor people. <laughs> it was such a dark age. Um, like, and just consider our infrastructure of our, our roads and everything. I mean, they were all built back after World War II, this big, you know, push for public infrastructure. We've been living off of that for a while and it's decaying and eroding, like a lot of the monuments of old ancient Rome. The people in the medieval periods were living around all that stuff. They scavenged off of a lot of it to build their own houses. That's a lot of these things are in ruin, not because of time and not necessarily because of war, but because of pickers and looters that were like, like sweet marble blocks. <laughs> I'm gonna bring those back and make myself a, you know, whatever, patio or whatever they did. Um, so people living during dark ages don't necessarily know that they're in the dark age. It's sort of a retrospective you look back. And what do you think about that idea uh, that we might already be living in a bit of a dark age? Uh, like I said, this stuff happens very slowly, uh, mostly uh, through history. Uh, collapses very rarely happen overnight. Um, it's much more the rule that it happens over decades and centuries of slow degradation of, of things that people take for granted. Uh, and then don't really miss because they, they go away so slowly. Um, I think it's helpful to think in those terms, uh, get out, getting out of your head a little bit, uh, look at things from more of a historical perspective. Um, or maybe it's complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, there's lots of great points of light that we live in now. And medicine is, I'm glad I live now in terms of the, the medicine technology, also information technology. Uh, those things are, are really quite advanced. But there's other aspects of our lives, um, uh, social fabric, infrastructure, um, like I said, uh, purchasing power, environmental uh, resources, uh, and things like that, that to me seem like they've been slowly being eroded away over time. And maybe right now we already are post SHTF in a lot of ways, and we're already starting uh, to live in that dark age to some degree. We'll see. Maybe that's complete BS. Let me know if you think it is. Politely in the comments below. Thanks for watching.